Hi students, welcome back again to this course. An introduction to mechanical engineering. I am Professor Yao. Polymer. The keyword. Polymer. Plastic and electromer. Molecular weight. Contain hundreds of thousands of atoms. Organic compound. The element carbon. carbon. Man-made macromolecular materials. Mechanical components. Toys, bottles, handles, switches, countertop, flooring, dishes, artificial heart valve, pens, gears, compact disc, notebook computer cases. Remarkable engineering materials. Carbonated soft drink bottle, bottles. Silicon sealant and the adhesive. Reduce the vibration. Vibration isolation mounts. Plastic and the elastomers are two parts of polymers. This polymer macromolecules are in, in, uh, enormous from the standpoint of molecular weight, and they can contain hundreds of thousands of atoms. Polymers are organic compounds meaning that their mechanical formulation is based on the properties of the element carbon. Rubber and silk are two natural occurring macromolecules, but chemists and uh, chemical engineers have developed hundreds of useful man-made macromolecular materials. Synthetic polymers are classified into two groups. Plastics, which can extrude into sheets and pipes or molded to form a wide range of products. And elastomers, which can compliant in a manner, characteristics of rubber. Plastic are all around us. They are used to make molded mechanical components, toys, bottles, handles, switches, countertops, flooring, dishes, artificial heart valve, pens, gears, compact disc, notebook, computer cases, and a lengthy list of other products. In the form of clothing, shoes, a wristwatch, or eyeglasses, you might be wearing plastic right now. Elastomer, the second category of polymers are the synthetic rubber-like macromolecules that are elastic and stretchable in a manner that is characteristic of rubber. Unlike the first two classes of materials, metal and their alloys, and the ceramics, plastic and the elastomers are relatively soft materials. They typically have an elastic module that is many times smaller than metal. 
in addition, their properties also change significantly with temperature. At room temperature, polymers may stretch and behave elastically, but as the temperature is lowered, they will become brittle. These materials are not well suited for application where strength is required, nor operation at elevated temperature. Nevertheless, plastics and elastomer are widely used and remarkable engineering materials. They are relatively inexpensive lightweight, good insulators against heat and electricity, and easy to shape and mold into complex parts. Polyethylene terephthalate is an engineering plastic that is commonly used to make containers for foods and the beverage. You may have seen the abbreviation PET or PETE embosses on the bottom of carbonated soft drink bottles. Those labels are useful to identify the soft different material when they are recycled. A polymer known as high density polyethylene, which is abbreviated HDPE, is used to make toys, plastic shopping bags, and milk juice containers. Other plastic materials include poly polystyrene epoxy, polycarbonate, polyester, and nylon. In one of their largest application, elastomer are used to make tires for vehicles, ranging from mountain bikes to aircraft. Other elast elastomer include the polyurethane foam that is used to insulate buildings, silicon, sealant, and adhesive. And then ne neoporine, neoprene, which is resistant to chemical and oils. Elastomer are also used to make supports and mounting blocks that can reduce vibration and is produced by machine. Vibration isolation mount that incorporate elastomer are used to attach an automobile's engine to its chassis and to isolate the hard disk drive in a portable computer from, a sh from shock and the vibration in the event of computer is accidentally dropped. Homework. Handwriting all keywords and submitting them to course Facebook. Just do the online quiz. See you next time.